What's good, everybody? Ty Bryan, our podcast, and yeah, we back. It, it's, it's been a while. We took a hell of a break, but we're we gonna get into that to another episode. It's your host, Be Heard, Brian, aka Prince, aka if you don't act right, we're gonna let the aka spray. Not really, but you know, <laughs> bring it to the co host, Tyler. What's good? Tell us to the people. Yo, I like that little shit that you did, but yo, what up, people? This is Tyler the Libra TTL, and um, yes, yeah, it's, it's been quite a while since we fucking did this, but um. Yeah, we we did. So we ain't rusty. Look, we'll we'll explain that in a later episode. Our first two episodes back, the fire. We got guests. We got two guests today. Oh yeah, we up. Yes, sir. Yeah, yes, sir. Now, to my man, to my right, when he was a young boy, you know, I knew him as a third. Had all the swag on the football field, like he had (laughs) all the gear. Like, you see the new Nike commercial that nigga yeah. come in with the gear. You be like, how the fuck? You, the commercial just happened, man. How did that? Whose man is this? Young then my homie to the left, young boy. Like, we had all the young star generals of the basketball yeah. court, this, that, and the third. This dude was right there with them. Like, he was younger than them. The only nigga on the team. Everybody was saying this. Like, man, I the only freshman on the team. Trey Nico. Part of real life. What's up with you guys? What's, what's up, what's man? What's up? What's up? So I need some. Yo, can you can you not get all the notifications? <laughs> Sway, Sway in the background. Shout out to Sway. Shout out we to got Sway. We're gonna Shout have him on the speaker, my man. Yeah, yeah. The speaker getting all the notifications. I know people hitting you up. You're a busy person, but um, yeah, yo. So real life. What I mean, obviously real life, real life. But right. if, for people that don't know. Trey and Nico are part of a group called Real Life. What what is this? Because it's like Wu Tang. Like y'all yeah, got, yeah, yeah. Y'all got all in how many life, how like, many members do y'all got? Like twenty to fifty something. Uh, we got like um, let's see, we got us two. We got Real Life Goon, Real Life Swish, Real Life Spade, Manny, LC, and Heem and Dom. So y'all niggas only need about. Forty more members left. Yeah. Oh, we got four more to go. I first, oh, so those, oh, those are the guys' names. Yeah. Oh, I thought he said he said he said he said like he was like, 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 sacked us like this. Is real life sacked. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> like, like like he was on some power range and shit. Like oh, they doing their own thing over there. Uh, no. So what it like? So well, like what is it? Is it a the, clothing brand? Or? The thing behind real life is we do everything. Uh, I, me and Swish, we make beats, we produce, and we also DJ. And DJ, yeah. Like, we're DJing for the Waves concert coming up with uh, a couple other DJs, too. Okay, when is that? Go ahead, plug that. Uh, right. To be honest, I can look on my phone. I don't know it off the top of my head. He, his hand's occupied. Yeah. Right yeah. 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 You know, some wrong shit, you know. Try up to something right now. Just, yeah. But, um, real life shit. <laughs> real life yeah. shit, yeah, there you go. Yo, uh, shout out to the plug. Yo, apologize to my mom. <laughs> don't miss this episode. <laughs> it's a no, but really, it was, I just, I was watching a video, uh, like, a year ago, and it was, uh, this football player, he was doing a drill, and he was just crashing everybody, and at the end, he, he yelled, I'm a real-life goon, like, and then it just stuck with me, so I put it as my Twitter name, and then two L's looked lame, so I only put one, and then after that, it started having a meaning to me, like, real life, you only get one life, so there's one L. That's, I mean, that's, that's real. It's kind of deep. Uh, yeah, deep. I think, I think the video was on Twitter. Was it that one drill where it's LSU? Yeah, and he just kept yeah. going against yeah. everybody. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Drill. It was that, that video. That, yeah, that that was good. That was a hard. I video. seen it. I was just like, it's just I don't know. It just stuck with me. And then like a year later, I was with Dom sitting in the car. Shout out to Dom. Shout yeah, shout out to Dom. Uh, shout out to Ace. That's his name. Um, I was like, bro. Doing this on my own is hard. Like, I was trying to do everything that we're doing right now. I was going to mm-hmm. do it on myself. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. But they was going to be with me anyways, so why not just make it a group, you know? Mm-hmm. Uh, so I was like, shit, might as well make it a group. We had a meeting. Everybody was on board. We bought shirts. Shit, we got I think that's what you need. I mean, I yeah. think that's... You do need a team, like, with me and Tyler and Sway. He'd be on the podcast. I think we got all our closest friends. That's what it's... Because yeah. we, always, we always have crazy conversations like this, so we was just like, fuck it. Might as well make it a podcast yeah. and record this shit now Definitely. so 
Is your yeah. name real? Is your nickname real life, then, Trey? Or? No, my nickname is Goon. Goon. But I just yeah. I just go by real life. Yeah, all, all of our we put all of our real life in front of our names. Yeah. So oh, okay, swings. I got you, got you. You know, like like ASAP Rocky, like, 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 like an ASAP, yeah, yeah, like or a, or, a or, a, or an Xbox yeah, yeah, client name, Shy Glizzy, all that. shit. Hell no, we ain't that recording. What's your nickname? You Swiss. Swiss. Oh, okay, okay. So all you guys are the real life Swiss. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um. We got. I got some shit with uh, Spade, and then I have some shit with Juice, Germ, and uh, Tavo. And, like if you if you're into their into their music, they're all, they're up right now. They're coming up. They got some big buzz in the city right now. So so if you guys so, make the beats, who's rapping or who? What are the other people doing in the group? Like what all? You got well, Sam Spade Bombay. He's a rapper. Yeah. Sam. Yeah. yeah. You got nigga Dom Ace. You taking pictures? Photographer. Um, we was recently talking to Rashawn Johnson, and that's a little cloud talk. He wants to be manager or whatever, but you know, we'll talk. But that, about I mean, that. manager. I would say, for me, just no, looking like, on the inside with a with the rap game or whatever like that, I would say maybe wait on that. Maybe build yourself up so that way you have some leverage because it's easy. Like even with the podcast, I knew some people that were trying to like tell, talk to me like, "Oh, y'all should do this, this, and third. It's yeah. like work, like. No. Yeah. You're not even here. What are you talking about? Yeah. You got you got to build it up first before you can get some leverage or stuff like that. And yeah. plus, we want to be different from the you know the mold and shit. We right. want to be like everything else. Yeah. All right. But like the main thing, what we want to do is really what we're trying to do is help artists get on. We make beats. We're uh, gonna host events, fashion shows. Just put everybody on. Show yeah. love to everybody. Yeah. Pretty yeah. much just yeah. entrepreneurs and what we do. So uh, we that's what I'm saying. Behind. Like, I think I saw you tweet something. Yeah, Trey do have a clothing brand or something yeah. like that. I was like, yo, let's link up. Like, get, get him on the podcast. Why not? I, yeah, I have no problem getting, me or Tyler have no problem getting people on the podcast. Yeah. It's just, like, help each other grow. Because the boy, the yeah. boy from Jake, I, I see people making moves. You know what I'm saying? You see Sean with uh, Wave. Yeah, yeah. And shout you see Sean, uh, Sean Kenneth, Space. Yeah, shout Kenneth out to Space. Black with his fashion. Yeah, shout out to KB yeah, Fashion, yeah, too. Yeah. I just seen that shit. Yeah, that shit's hot. And I was, like, I was like, damn, I fuck with that. Yeah, yeah shit's hot. Yeah, he's gonna be on the podcast. Hey, come on, real life KB collab. Hey, you see, like, you see how we try to, we trying to come up from, like, DM, because everybody thinks we lame, so no. That's my yeah. thing. Like, rappers come, come through the crib to the studio every day, and they all say the same thing, like, I wish everybody would stop hating. I always want to feature with everybody so we can all get on. And they all say the same thing, but yeah. then when it comes to it, like, y'all just talking shit about each other at the end of the day, but y'all want to work with each other? That's not how it works. I don't know. I just think it's weird because, like, if you look at, like, the Kendrick thing, like, who is this for? I feel But, like, <laughs> if you look at the Kendrick thing where he said everybody's name, he said the obvious. Like, everybody feels that way and everybody, uh, thinks that way but then it's like nobody wants to do collabs anymore like or yeah. even J. Cole like yeah. I think we're putting J. Cole in the lane to where he shouldn't have a feature on his album cause like both of them his last two albums went platinum but they had no features so yeah. it's like yeah. I want to hear him like on I would features. love to hear him feature with other people mm-hmm. yeah. but I feel like I don't know I feel like people are saying he's the best because he doesn't feature yeah, you know, I, don't I don't feel like that's deep. true yeah. I mean that's oh, like <laughs> Shout out to Swift. But yeah, I don't know. I like good music. I like features. I like artists branching out and see what they can read. Yeah, definitely. Is there anyone, like, I mean, you already shouted a couple of names, but is there any guys you like. Who you want to work with? Yeah, who you want to work with? Or, or like, who. Yeah. I mean, I know even, y'all got some names. The, even uh, in the yeah. morning, like, with yeah. the beats you're making, like, do you see, like, when you make a beat, are you just making it, like, let me hold on to this? Or are you making it, like, ooh, Honestly, I, I already know who could. Yeah. It, 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 bro, yeah, it depends, we got honestly. so many beats. Some beats would be like, oh, yeah, yeah I'm going to send this to him. And then some are like, yeah, I'm going to hold on this because maybe later I can come up with something better. Or, like, so me, I'll make a beat, and if I go back to it like a week later, it can change into a whole something different. And yeah. it'll be better, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it all just depends on if it just clicks in your head or not. Like, oh, yeah, this sounds like you should be on this. Like, we, me, Swish, and uh, A1, shout outs to A1. Um, He's a good, he's like, I'm going to tell you right now, he's probably the best mixer, master like in, for Iowa, real, like, in Iowa. No doubt. He just, I think that's the hardest part about, like, when your homies are, uh, like, rapping and stuff like that. Like, you can hear 
you hear rapping and you hear like the voice, but it's like the production. Like you gotta yeah. really mix that shit. I think that's where the professionals shine is where they mix. Now, do you guys work on the same piece together, or like, will you make a beat and then be like, yo, check this out, or then, like, do you guys give like how do you since y'all are a group, how do you two work together? When well, it comes we, to we have our own stuff individually, and then we do collabs as well. Yeah. And then like we was talking about our do a one, we all. We, we just made like three, four beats the other day, to, to, just a collab. Is there all any uh, of your guys' beats that are being like used on future songs or mixtapes? Yeah, right? we got a song. Yeah, I, I got, got a Goon got song. I got a song coming up with um, Germ and Juice, and I think McTavish is going to be on it too. Shout to Juice and Germ. And uh, I don't know what it's going to be called, but we was at the crib and it was rocking with it. We was going to start some shit with that. We're going to take him to A1 and see what he can do with it. So Now, when is that uh, song going to. Shit. Or I don't even know, honestly. We, we was in the stew, but whenever it's ready to be dropped, no day or anything. <coughs> What's but, the average day? Like how how long does it usually take you guys coming to a song? Are you guys always same. in there? Just shit. Hearing we was like, making beats the other night at uh, eight ones. We was making them in like forty five minutes. Damn, uh, I mean, that's yeah. not bad too, yeah, especially yeah. if it sounds right too. Yeah, yeah. and it sounded right because we got it, so many producers in the room. Yeah, we got yeah. so many. It's just like. I don't know. Man. It just clicks. When, like when we're together, bro. Like I don't know. It's just so easy. Like we don't even schedule. Oh, let's let's collab, bro. Like if we're together, we'll just be like, bro, you trying to make a beat or something? Mm -hmm. And then it just happens. Now I got a question for y'all. You know how like when you hear a different beat and stuff, oh that sounds like you know Chicago beat. Oh yeah. Oh, that sounds like you know Atlanta beat. That's funny you said that. Yeah. What makes you know Des Moines the Des Moines music scene? Right. You know, apart from all those other ones. I feel, I don't know, I feel like the wave and all them, they got, I feel like everybody here has good vibes. Everybody that's constantly in, actually in the rap game here in Des Moines has a good vibe and they're actually good. And I feel like, I don't know, I feel like everything's starting to take off like, this, this summer. I think yeah. where Des Moines will probably shine is like that casual, like, just kind of like you just going through the day type of beat. Because, you know, a lot of people don't know about Des Moines. Like, a lot of people don't know about Iowa, so they yeah. look at us as weak or something like that. So it kind of, I think that's why some people won't take Iowa rappers serious when we're talking yeah. about killing and stuff like that because it's not glorified or it's exactly. it's not as much people as what you call it. But, like, if it's like a club party, get-together kind of yeah. vibe, like, I think that's where we'll shine. Um, well, that was a good question, Tyler. I have one, too. Yeah, that was. No, but... Yeah. I can't think of nothing. The music scene's getting really good. There's a lot of good rappers. Like, Looney. Shout out to Looney Two Time. He has a feature with Nestle and a whole bunch of other big yeah, artists. Yeah, talking about yeah. that, too. Oh, I think I remember what. Like, so, how, is there anything, like, are you going for just a typical rap beat, or are you going for, like, a like a trap beat? Honestly. Or is there any sound that you're, I'm not, you don't have to say the sound, right, but, right. like, how Drake had uh, Portland and right. Future had Mask Off when they added the flute, and right. that was a different sound. Is there anything where you're like, I'm about to drop this sound on these motherfuckers? <laughs> they don't even know it. I mean, to be honest, like, I but I, I get my a lot of it's my inspiration. I get a lot of my inspiration from my favorite producer, Southside, from Eight Away Mafia. Yep. And I like to listen to him a lot. I get a lot. I watch a lot of his vlogs and all that. But I like the new era of beats coming out. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. It's pretty, it's, it's dope, honestly. Like, like, Playboy Cardi's album, like, all those beats on there are, like, crazy. So, like, I go for what's popping right now. True, I feel yeah. that. The I, type, same vibe type shit. So. Shoot, for that's me how you stay relevant, too. Yeah. You know? yeah. Me, personally, I'm trying to learn every genre. I'm trying to do trap. I'm trying to do R&B. Yeah. Regular, slow down rap. I'm trying to do EDM. I'm and I think do everything. And I think nowadays you're starting to hear like R and B starting to sound more like rap, rap starting to sound like R and B. Like yeah. it's starting to merge where you're getting a better sound, I believe. Yeah. And I think that's where uh, music's gonna shine because you're getting yeah. different types of tapes. Now, is there, um, you know, uh, like London on the track, like stuff like that? Y'all got right. any catchphrases like, like that? Y'all got yeah. your own old ad libs. Y'all asking the same <laughs> questions we lit been playing out this week. Like I'm going to make my tag this week. So. You're gonna have to make it so yeah. everybody recognizes yeah. who you are. Yeah. And then that's the one thing I, I think, it's weird because rappers in the rap game they don't really shine like that. I mean they do, but like, 
whoever's hot at the moment, everybody would want to work with them, but it seems like producers and, like, beat makers, like, everybody will want a track for them. Yeah. Like, yeah. as yeah. soon as they make it, everybody wants to work with them. It says, like, some rappers will, like, will hop on a wave or something like that, this and third. Yeah. So yeah. I think, especially, all it is is a sound called listen to it. Like, yep. now, you know, as young black males and stuff like that, you're either going to be, like, a hooper or like a rapper right, in, right. like in the music industry yeah. is it hard to like talk to people and be like yo check out my stuff and they're like nigga I ain't trying to hear that yeah, you know right. what I'm saying like is that nah, hard a lot of good stuff that's been a- passed around I'm gonna keep it a whole band our beats are good and I, I'm not cocky I'm confident in what I say yeah that's real, that's real. so and if I come at you like that you're gonna believe me true true and when I show you it's gonna be proved so like I don't know. I didn't think we was gonna pop off this fast on making beats like that, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but we got a good ear for music. Yeah, and yeah. Working. We all had different dreams and all that. Yeah, but once I started seeing how much money you can make from making beats, you making more money than your dreams. And then I think you always have to aim high too because some people will try to lowball you, and even if you could say an out crazy number, and it's like, what the hell's wrong with you? Like yeah. this and the third, but. I forget aim high. If you really want no, that's that, a, that's that. another. If you're really uh, doing it for business, you gotta have business price. You know what I'm saying? I, I think that's gonna be the hardest thing for like. Yeah, it's gonna be the hardest thing around here because around here you're getting, I wouldn't say it's cheap, a passion. But, but yeah, it's a passion. Like, I don't know. If you want to get great quality, you gotta have money for that. Mm-hmm. We have great quality. We can take you to great quality studios. We have great quality studios. Yeah. So it's not gonna be cheap. But I guarantee it's gonna be better than anything you drop. I mean, you gotta invest in yourself too. Yeah, like, exactly. Yeah, right. Invest in yourself is the best thing to do. Because that's what I'm trying to do with the podcast. I mean, we don't really have the technology now, but we'll, we're gonna keep it grow, got. growing yeah, and stuff that. like that. And then the only problem I would say in Des Moines is like, yeah, it really has to be a passion because like, it's hard to say, Mom, I want to drop out and just be a rapper. Or yeah. I want to, I want to just do a podcast. Like, you got to yeah. get money. Like that's, yeah. I or hate to think you like that. Nine to five but job. Honestly, that's crazy. All it takes is to believe in yourself. Yeah, if you believe crazy. in yourself, nobody else has to. That's how I feel. Yeah, yeah. it's crazy you said that too. Because I was talking the other day to switch about how like rappers is really like quitting their jobs, quitting school to yeah. like live the lifestyle. <laughs> And to be honest, that's what you gotta do. Mm-hmm. If you really try to make it, you gotta be that shit like 110%. But I feel like a lot of people want the rap lifestyle, not the rap work. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But then yeah. it's that like, they, I don't know, rapping is such a weird like yeah. sport, if you will, because it's like, you kind of have to, whatever your persona is, you kind of have to be that persona. I think that's yeah, like the image. Like J. Cole set himself up perfectly because now he, he could just be a person that. Like, <coughs> I don't gotta talk to no fucking body till like December when I drop out my album. I'm yeah. cool. Like but he, you know what I'm saying? Where I think Drake, we have to see him always doing well, or like a yeah. Big Sean, or or like any of these hood rappers. Like they gotta always seem like they look. Like, yeah. like Gucci man, he switched up this game. Like everybody's proud yeah. of Gucci, but yeah. at first he was the first. Yeah, Shout out to Gucci yeah, too. Yeah, that's dope to see. I fuck with Twenty One Savage. Shout out to Twenty One Savage. Man. Yeah, I, Shout out to I don't. Know, I, He's a demon. <laughs> He's a demon. Who's that? Uh, who's who do you think's taking like the rap crown? Or like who do you guys who are you listening to? Who, who do I who, listen to? Yeah, especially now that you guys are beats. Who are you listening to? Yeah, like, I, I like Travis. Right Travis, now. Yeah. Travis, Travis is a genius, bro. Yeah. Travis kinda has that Kanye West feel. He yeah, does. he does. He has, it's like it's different. I don't know. He's a genius. Yeah. I think his first two albums were W Like yeah. you say Kanye. I listen to a lot of old Kanye for real. Mm-hmm. That's what he reminds me of. See me, I like to listen to like Chief Key. I, I'm more of a like trap music person. <laughs> but then I also I listen to everything too, cause like I don't know, it's crazy. I listen to Ed Sheeran yeah. sometimes. That brings up a question. Oh, I, I don't mean to cut you off, but I'm like, sure. all right. but like, what you know, like general like culture, like of rap, are y'all going for? Like, are y'all going for like trap music, like? Or you like soft rap or you know stuff Honestly, like that? We're going for everything. Yeah, sure. like yeah. We're, we're not really trying to limit ourselves to just one yeah. thing. Yeah, you know, just like just be as broad as possible. Like and multiple you things. Could, you could almost make the most fire beat <coughs> possible, and then have like a like a fire hood just yeah. seem like 
Dolph or Yo Gotti or somebody yeah. like that would kill it. And yeah, and you wouldn't that even track know. be perfect for Kendrick or exactly. something. Exactly, you wouldn't like, even know. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. It just depends on who hops on the track. So yeah. everybody can relate. Yeah. Yeah. I got a lot of tracks. Like, uh, shouts out to Nino Reckless, too. He's locked up right now. I've been trying to work with him lately, but yeah. I got a lot of beats that I feel like he could go crazy on. So I've been trying to reach out to him. We've been talking a few, but he recently just got locked up, so free him. So, yeah. But, yeah. What are you guys listening to, like, now, like, at this present moment? Like, what? You got to pick an album or a rapper or, I mean, hey. You know, anyone that listens to the podcast, you already know what I'm about to say. You know, Kendrick Lamar, that shit was fire. Uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's this shit was fire. Uh, he hasn't stopped playing the Kendrick album. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I, I, actually, I'm not going to lie, I had that on the ass <coughs> all la- yesterday, so. I was listen- I've was i been listening to the Kendrick album and a lot of Ghostface Killer. I don't know. Ghostface? Uh, Ghostface Killer. Damn, I, I, I had crazy. Ghostface that Killer. That forever. Yeah. Ghostface Killer. From the I mean, Wu-Tang. That nigga been saying some outlandish shit, though. I like, when you really yeah, listen to the back of the day, I was like, he yeah. always has. But that, it was fire. I was I, I Shit, I've been listening to... Listen you know, since we're old heads, we gotta listen to that. I movie. like... I like Nav a lot. Nav, Shouts out Nav. to Nav. Like, yeah, he's cold. I feel uh, like the way he could approach the game was like... Nobody else approached the game like him. Like, nobody even know what he looked like until he dropped the Beebs video true. with Travis. Yeah, true. And you barely even seen him in that. Yeah. What about but, you? Um, <coughs> My favorite artist is Lil Wayne. I'm gonna be honest. I'm an old head too. But even yeah. even now, are you listening to Lil Wayne? See, I don't have a favorite artist. I don't got a favorite artist. Like, 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 like Kanye. Uh, but I I don't I like if I had to pick one, it would be Kendrick Lamar, just because I get what he's saying most of the time, yeah. and I always I, I feel like no project he's done has been bad. Like this, you know what I'm saying I think it's it's realistic to say that you're not a fan of certain songs as much as you are other songs but yeah. to sit here and say that shit's trash like I don't get that like like there's people that be listening to Lil B faithfully and they be like oh his is good but that's trash like yeah. what's not for you nigga that's like, just like, ignorance yeah. it, it's, it's like it's like I seen somebody the other day on Twitter uh, he uh he came at somebody for like in Frozen it was like some girl and he's like that shit's garbage I was like nigga it's not for you yeah. you were like 20 year old in college like, yeah that's that's why I'm glad we make beats because like we can listen to anything and if it's not for us we know like it's, it's not, not for trash you, yeah. it's just but we don't fuck it's with it's a different type of sound I, yeah. I relate it to I, I really think it's like I hate when people like just hate on music because it's like like Kendrick had to make to make Good Kid Mad City he had to make damn like you know what I'm saying like he from, to be the, here where he is now, he had to be at that point then. Yeah. To try, and then I feel like with like Drake, Kendrick, or Travis, they're trying things, and that's what you want. Because yeah. if somebody stays the same, it's weird because you kind of get put in this lane, and everybody gets mad. It's weird because people get mad at you for staying the same, and people get mad at you for uh, being different. So I would right. say be different every time. Cause yeah, like, yeah. Like, I, I listened so. to Rick Ross's yeah. last album. I liked it. Yeah, I liked it, too. I, was, I knew, I I knew what the yeah, fuck you, I was getting, You know though. what you get with Rick Ross. Yeah, you know yeah, what you, you know, get. But I feel like he's also reaching out to the new era, too. He's yeah, featuring exactly. with, like, with Future. He has a banger with Future. And uh, shout out to DY 808. He's coming up in 808 Mafia, too. They got a lot of people in 808 Mafia are coming up, so. And it seemed like, I was going to touch on this earlier, but it seemed like there's all love with more. Like, we yeah. were talking about rapping. I like to see that. That's yeah. Yeah. I think that's where more. That's, that's one thing yeah. that really surprised us was how much love that we got. How We've yeah. only been doing this for, like, a month, maybe. Yeah. And, like, we gotten so much buzz and so much love. And, like, because really all we're trying to do is put a platform for everybody else. We're trying to, we DJ, we have a clothing line, we, we promote. We do make beats. We do all this. We have artists too. We got all that. You know I mean, we saying? ain't popping yet because they go tax us for t-shirts, yeah. but we don't want to. We're gonna come back around. We're gonna that's come back around with real life. We're gonna come back around with real life. Honestly, that's how the DM culture is. Just keeps building up. It keeps building up. Yeah. Everybody's this and that. Now we're this. Like I feel like the more people that show love, the more people will get on. And everybody can eat too. Like that's what I was trying to do. Exactly. I was. I mean, I was trying to get uh, our heart media and work there, but then like that's. That's the only problem with like getting in the industry job or like just a job in general is like they're talking like, well, you need experience or you need a degree. It's like, well, how do I get experience if somebody's out here trying to give me opportunities? So that's why when Tyler, Tyler, truth be told, people, I don't know if you know this or not, he's the one for the idea of the podcast. I've always had it in my mind. I always wanted to do something like this. 
But he came to me out of nowhere. He's like, yo, nigga, let's, why don't we do a podcast or something? Everything happens yeah. right. I was like, what? Uh-huh, yeah, yeah. The best, like, the bro, best we shit We like talking right. about shit. We like speaking on cultures and yeah. stuff like that. So we like, hey, yo. And I, even though. Let's other people listen. <laughs> yeah. Even though our president is crazy right now. And I'm just going to be like, <laughs> yeah. God you know, bless. Fe, you know Fez Washer. <laughs> Politic yourself. Hey, man. Today, yeah, fuck Trump. Yeah, fuck Trump. Man. I mean, everybody got real life say so. Real life say, hey, real real life say it first. Fuck real Trump. Life. Fuck Trump. I don't and even, that's real life. Like, hey, we're we're we boycott. We get we finna get him impeached real soon. Cause we all finna die if he's gonna be there for four years. I was gonna Shit, say on that. I, the only reason I brought up Trump is I was gonna say is like today is your best day to have the opportunity. You can do anything you want in this world. Like y'all can drop a track right now. And that shit blow up next week. Exactly. Like, it, it, yeah, everybody got it. As long as people just mess with it. Even even like some people, because when I first did the podcast, I put the SoundCloud link uh-huh. into my shit. So everybody thought I was a rapper. So everybody yeah. was trying to hit me up with beats and this, that, and that. <laughs> and like, yo, check out my song. I'm like, bro, I ain't got no time for that bullshit. I don't even know you, dog. But I, if someone asks me and it's a genuine person, just, yo, can you retweet this? Bam. Mm-hmm. I have no problem. If I mess with you, I have no problem retweeting it, even right. if I don't listen to it. I I mean, I don't listen to every episode, but shout out to the D&B show. They always show love. They from Texas. And I always, like, if I can, retweet it and tweet yeah. it out. Because, I mean, I'm not a hater. I, I want to yeah, see everybody. Yeah. Yeah. And, like, I'm the type of person, if I see you eating and you're in my category, I'm like, I'm about to get that too. Yeah, I'm gonna me- I, I, it's not a plan hater. I'm a me too type of thing. Like, oh, you got that? Me too. You got the new iPhone? Me too. <laughs> I'm going to have everything you got, dog. And plus, you know, you know, everybody wants to be students of the game. You know, we yeah. want to learn how to get better. Y'all want to learn how to get better. Yeah, so. Of course. That's the one thing, like, I'm glad. Like, we still learn it. And we, got, and we, and we, we establish a good platform. We still learn it. So I feel like. We just keep working and shit, even work harder. Because I know we can work harder on a personal tip, you know what I'm saying? But we just keep working harder. It ain't going to be nothing but up from here, so. I think the hardest thing is probably, is like, pride and personality. Yeah. It's like, it's, you kind of realize, like, that's why I'm trying to tell Tyler. Sometimes I have to get on him, but, like, he'd be like, yo, bro, this is an opportunity. I mean, the I, I just got hit to the podcast you were talking about, but in that, I didn't really hear no The Morning yeah. Podcast really yeah. talking about anything. Yeah, shout out to Junkies Podcast. Yeah, too. shout yeah, out to Junkies yeah, Podcast. Yeah. I'll check it out, but like, I'm not, like, I'm trying to get back. So it's, it's a hot yeah. take right here, yeah. but I'm coming, for, we coming for that spot, bro. Like, we, 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 you see the interview we got now, we got real life in the studio. Yeah. So, yeah, we gonna keep, keep coming. Going, we gonna keep coming up from here. Yeah, hey, shout out to uh, Cap, Space, that was rocking the shirts too. Sure, I said that photo shoot. Yeah. That was hard. Yeah. I'm trying to be a photo shoot model with you. Cause hey. Because we're talking, I, I was at QT the other day, right? And I see the nigga's hand, just his hand, on a QT card. I'm like, how much you think he got paid for that motherfucker? Yeah. I do that in a heartbeat. I'm over Probably here. got 10K. Yeah, I'm over here working. I had a real job. This got to be obligated to be there. I'm like, this nigga just, mm. I'm like, or Salt Bay, just doing this shit. Like, yeah. I'm like, man, I'm trying to be a model. Like this. So, like, real life. Uh. Kenneth Black. No, that's, that's you know what funny. I'm like, anyone that needs a photo that's, shoot. That's funny because there are a lot of people that ask to be models now, but, like, it's kind of hard to just pick and choose. Yeah, and it and everything goes money wise. True. So, I mean, if you want to be a model, if you ask to be a model, I mean, it's up to you. Really. As long as I'm free, I'm can you with it. it. I don't know. Can you, yeah. can you hold it and, like, price come, money, money talk, so. Now, exactly. do you guys. Obviously, y'all do music and clothing. Do you think that, um, you know, any of those two would, you know, surpass the other as far as, like, oh, y'all are working on this music, but then what about the clothing line? Like, like, uh, that's the thing. Like, we we do a lot of stuff. We have the DJing and all that, too. Yeah. So, like, I don't know. Really, if, if anyone pops off, we still stay consistent with what we do. But if either one pops off, we're still going to stay consistent. But if that one's higher than the other one, so be it. It'll go up there. It'll get even. So, so I, I feel like if one pops off, the other pops off. Yeah, like, you yeah. see, if our music pops off, our clothing is going to pop off. That's why we do so much. Yeah. yeah. If our DJ pops off, our music going to pop off. Yeah, that's, that's but then, but then I would say, too, recognize the opportunities that you guys have. So, like, if don't feel obligated to do both clothing and music if oh, yeah. if like the clothing pops off let the clothing pop up and then maybe take a second for the music or something like yeah. that or 
Like how who runs the clothing then? All we all do. All do. Okay, yeah. so that's all thing. Okay. Yeah. yeah. The clothing is an all thing, and me and Swiss DJ, we make beats. Sam raps. Uh, Are you DJ? You said you're DJ for shows. Do you DJ for shows? Yeah, yeah we so both DJ together. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we got we're gonna we got the fashion show coming up. We're gonna have uh, I gotta reach out to Trey Boogie. Shouts out to Trey Boogie. Uh, Space's little brother. Yeah, shouts out to Trey. Yeah, yeah. Um, shout out. we're gonna have him DJ, and then uh, also DJ Rose. Shout out to DJ Rose. She has a show tonight too. Um, at the Des Moines Brews but uh, yeah we're all gonna DJ that so like it's gonna be lit you know what I'm saying so now and, have you DJed this show before no nah. but we're DJing a wave show coming up dang no nerves no nerves no nah, really we know what we're doing and it's like you have to practice for that like yeah. rehearse yeah we gotta rehearse yeah. and all that but we're Gucci like that music comes natural to us so anything that has to do with music we're straight honestly yeah. it's just just groove and just, just rock out. You know what I'm and then don't forget to use social media as a platform. I have social oh, yeah, media definitely. Can take you places. Yeah, we've been pushing it. We push the podcast hard on Facebook and Twitter, and Snapchat, all that. You can get paid yeah. for Instagram posts. Yeah. So that's why I be trying to yeah. tell people, like, all them Instagram models and stuff like that, they get paid to do that. That's why they do that. Yeah. I I ain't, I will sell out. I will sell out for some flat tummy teeth. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I, <laughs> I will do that shit. In a hey, I will do that. Hey, there's so many females. I just scroll down. Flat tummy teeth. I'm just like. <laughs> I will take my blessings and be happy about it. Oh but God. For so really? Use the slap. You know what I'm saying branding. And all that stuff, make sure all your social media links are linked yeah. up and stuff like that. Use that shit to your Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll link it in here too, so, mm-hmm. yeah. Hashtag it, all that shit. Yeah. That stuff, we'll use it to your Yeah, that's what, we had We had a meeting the other night where we were like, yeah, we got to push this on social media real hard. Because, like, if you ain't got social media nowadays at the game, you ain't got shit. You ain't going to make it. True. True. And this is, uh, I think this is your first guy's interview, right? Yeah. yeah. That's why yeah. I, see, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to put yeah. people on. I was like, I don't think they did an interview yet. We got yeah, shout out to TBH. For real. Huge shout out. Yeah, we, we hey, do, I know, hey, hopefully hopefully we do interviews too. We do rants and interviews, you know. We got to yeah. I mean, it's a podcast, so all this yeah. is real. I, to me, I wanted, I knew you guys, so I just wanted to be a conversation. Yeah. I think anyone who comes on here, it should be a conversation. Yeah. I, like, it, it can't be an interview because people are always hear interviews. But like yeah. I was cracking jokes and laughing and shit like that. Yeah, and hopefully it links to way more uh, interviews for y'all. For real. Sure. Right? I, I mean, I I dream yeah. one day. You know, there's yeah, I yeah. Heart, there's, Bro. there's studios downtown. You know what I'm saying? Everybody around here's gonna take off. Whoever's showing love, like I said, is gonna take off. If you show love, you get show love back. Anyone in the downtown Des Moines area, if you want to holler at, you know, either me or Tyler, you know, what I'm saying? <laughs> let us use your studio for a real, yeah, real yeah. podcast. You know what I'm saying? Talk to us. You know, for real, for real. Now, I got, I got another question for y'all. When it, will y'all, you know, next performance be like? Or like, what's the date? Or what's the dates? Can y'all give us some dates? Hold on. Yeah, he got all the there? dates. Uh, they got uh, a hype, man? Who's the hype, man? Who's the hype, yeah. We yeah. got, um, uh, Jizz. Jay Foster. Yeah, oh, shout out to Jizz. Yeah, shout out to Jizz. Yeah, yeah. 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 that's an OG right there. That's an OG. We're going up to Iowa City with his show. We're going to be up there, too. Oh, true, true. And I'm not sure what that is. I know it's like... Yeah, I would say take advantage of traveling. I would yeah. Yeah, wouldn't limit yourself. Yeah, we're going up there pretty soon. We got a photo shoot in Colorado, May 2nd through the 11th. True. And we're going to do some vlogs up there and stuff, so that'll be on there and everything. Um... We also got the Wave Show coming up. Yeah. Uh, I think it's the 29th. I'm sure. Hold on, let me. Yeah, look it up. And then, uh, where can I get tickets at? Do you have anywhere that you can look? Honestly, at? you gotta hit um, any any people for the Wave. They got all the tickets. The name information. Uh, yep. Okay. They'll have everything on there. And we can leave a link their Twitter down there too. Yeah, cause I want to do. Uh... I want to do a, a podcast tour too. Like whenever oh, yeah. we get big enough to do it, I, I, yeah, that'd be dope. Because yeah, they, they, they be doing this, live podcasts. Take this on the road. Yeah, that'd be so dope, far bro. we go. That would be dope. Or maybe even ooh, I, there's an idea. You could have like a pre-show, have y'all come out DJ, have a concert before, and then do that, or vice versa, have the podcast warm them up yeah. and then make it an event. Yeah, yeah that would be dope. And I've been working on my uh, graphic design, so I can make it. Hell yeah. Fly. And don't they do podcast booths at like Coachella and all them festivals? Uh, yeah. They might. I, they, shit, I, I think mean, they do. 
they take podcasts. They take people with the groups and like yeah. doesn't have to bring it in. And then like, yeah, yeah I'm trying to, I'm trying, I'm trying to get sponsors. <laughs> That's we up to something. Right trying to like. So, so anyone downtown that want to let us use the studio, let us please <laughs> just let us get let's <coughs> on it. You know what I'm saying? I'm you don't to have to give us a whole day. We could just do an hour. You know, just get that. Well, I mean, you know, we got edited, you know, I mean, uploaded, and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? So like two hours, mm-hmm. but you know. Yeah. Now, Switch, you were saying something interesting uh, about oh, yeah, we the had to bring this up. Cleveland shooter. Oh uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's your take on that, man? I don't, even, I don't know what's going on or what, but that, this really disturbs me because I feel like it's fake, to be honest. I mean, I, I, like the video was it's kind of crazy. Crazy. The video's the shaky video. as hell. The situation it's like, is shaky. I, I get he's holding the gun, but you would figure that you would at least see the shot. Like, yeah. he had it to where it was perfectly moved out of the way. Like, yeah. Then, yeah. He was like, then the way the blood fell, it was kind of weird too. Exactly. I don't know. I I think it was real, but my only take from it is like, yeah, the guy's a piece of shit. I hope he did die, and rots in hell. But the number one sign I got from that is you have, if you hear somebody's help for cry, <coughs> you have to like answer or like do something because a lot of people don't know how to deal with shit and like they yeah. be fucked up in the head and like they be asking like yo I need to talk to somebody about that but most people don't care even you know guys like I, most people don't care because like their day if their day's straight and it's good and chilling they really don't really care because like I just I know I've been there y'all all guys you know what I'm yeah. saying you just been there and the girls just like oh, oh. like oh shit she gonna <laughs> talk about her day oh, she gonna talk <laughs> oh, about some God. bullshit I don't feel like talking about it that's the only thing I got from it. Like, if someone's really reaching out, you gotta talk to them. That's why I always I mean, talk like, to them. And plus, you know, a lot of people see, but not everybody tells. You know. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. You know, if I just don't see how like that shit was weird. Oh. I, I think what was weird is it was just too much weird shit going on. Like he Way went too much. five states and nobody caught. And he said he killed thirteen car. people, but like, where's all the other people? That's like? true. And he's yeah. in the same car that everybody knows that everybody's looking for. There's no way. Like, and he goes like, to a McDonald's. But, like that doesn't like, make sense. And the McDonald's bro just stopped him. Like, like what? <laughs> like come on now. Like y'all could have came up with a better excuse. I don't know. I, I mean, I see. And, y'all's and, point and then he up and just kills himself. We'll get no pictures, no nothing. Oh, he committed suicide. So yeah, we have over. no evidence. They're not going to release it's nothing, over. bro. Like, I mean, I, 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 I think it was... I don't know. That's just weird. And then it's just that's over. weird. Like, I don't understand. I mean, R.I.P. to the guy that died that we did see that. Yeah, R.I.P. Yeah. definitely. That's, I didn't even watch... I didn't like... I don't like watching shit like that. I didn't even try to watch that video. I, I, I don't know. I, I feel like with this new day and age of social media that you almost have to because you're going to see it regardless. Like, somebody's going to talk about it or somebody's going to show you and, like... Like, you kind of grow up fast, too, because you see shit that you don't really don't see. Like, yeah. like last year, when it was all the uh, police brutality and the people getting shot and shit like yeah. that, I was like, I was seeing niggas die, you know, <coughs> when I shouldn't have said, saw that shit. Yeah. I don't know. That was just crazy. Weird. And plus, it all, always puts you in bad spirits to be, like, yeah. watching some dreadful shit like that. Yeah. yeah. But sometimes, I think, you need to know life's real sometimes because it, it, like, it puts shit in perspective for you because you don't reality. It. Yeah, like that old guy was minding reality. his own fucking business just walking down the street and then this nigga gonna, you know, yeah. come up and... Like, that's some wild ass shit right there. But then that that also taught me a valuable lesson because uh, my mom, she told me when I was younger, she's like, be cool with everybody because you don't know who's gonna go crazy. Yeah. I was like, that's the real shit I've ever heard. That's why I'm cool with everybody. You get so, your yeah. Exactly. That's why, that's why I'm glad we make beats, because like, yeah. we fuck with everybody. Mm-hmm. Yeah, everybody you can't, you can't drop on a diss track with a beat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. Can't nobody diss us, because we try to help y'all. You yeah. look yeah. like a goofy a if you try to diss us. For you're like real. a fucking Beethoven or something yeah. trying to diss somebody. Yeah. 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 the music. It's like, ooh. It's yeah. like, and ooh. Dwayne's so small, like, you're going to see him. You're going to pull up on it. You're going to pull up on somebody. Somebody's going to say something. And it's. It's like if they don't fuck with you, they don't fuck with your posse, and your posse gonna say something. Like the more, the more small enough you can reach around somebody, it's like Ooh. yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Um, but since you brought that up, you think uh, Des Moines does like being that Des Moines is so small that everybody's kind of gonna sound like everybody else when it comes yeah. to like a different style or a beat or anything. Are you afraid of that? Actually, I think um, everybody got their own style. Yeah. yeah that's popping right now. I feel right like now. everybody that's popping right now has their own sound. Like th- yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, shout out to Juice. He got his own sound. Cash Germ got his own sound. The whole way, they got their own sound. 
Yeah. Shit, they've been started that before. Like, really anybody, honestly. They've yeah. been doing it for the longest. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, just keeping it a band. Mm-hmm. So, I think it's just gotta stay consistent with it. Cause, I mean, it's, it's just... Like, anything in life, it's gonna be streaky. Like, yeah. sometimes you're gonna be up. You might be popping today, and then it might be something wrong. Mm-hmm. But I think, yeah. like, if you talk about Wave, I know that they were always consistent. I think yeah, you can definitely. see their improvement. Exactly. Like, like but... Nobody approached the game like Juice. I tell you that right now. <laughs> he came into the game with straight heat. <laughs> he hasn't dropped not a banger yet. That's real. I mean, yeah. he's, doing that. he's only seventeen. Hey, tell shout out to Juice. Tell him. Yeah, shout, shout out to Juice for real. Yeah, if we do a shout man, shout out to Hurst Hits, man. Yeah, Hurst uh, Hits too. Literally, yep. trying to contact you for real. He's with Rosemont, right? Yeah. 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 He's I doing see big things. Yeah, he's working with Curtis. Yeah, I see his website. I was like, yeah, man, like this man. He's I think he got a degree bro. too. I think he went to Missouri. Yeah, he did. He did. Yeah. I did. It works. Spit some game to us. For real, yeah. for real. We were yeah. trying to contact him for a minute. I feel that. Me, uh, hey, that's real. Because if you look at look at the year DJ Khaled had. I mean, granted, Snapchat also helped, but yeah. DJ Khaled is, I think, the only DJ without an ego because he's always asking somebody for a, a, like a track or something he's always asking he's yeah. so I would take that approach and just be be humble I mean yeah granted some people are going to try to flex and be cocky like oh you can't reach me or something like that. I, I think you want to work with everybody yeah and just exactly expand your horizon oh god yeah no it's playoff playoffs playoff season yeah, here we go. in the NBA Russ for MVP True, I agree with that. I agree with that. If you disagree, you wrong, Shardy. I agree, real. agree 110% with that. But what do you think about this, Nico? Who, who's everybody thinking? I got Golden with, State, with man. Curry. Golden State. Durant. Durant's hurt. Uh, I, yeah, he's been hurt last. He was hurt last game. I didn't even know that. <laughs> Who are your guys' teams? I like my... My team's a pistol. They've been yeah, my team since yeah. day one, so I ain't never switched it up. You know, I, mean, I, I stay real to the deal. You feel know? me? Yeah, you know, I like OKC, but I like Golden State too. I'm a Durant fan. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I, I like I I like people who will just admit what they are. Like if they're yeah. just a fan of the team, that I mean, if you're just a fan of the player, I respect that. If you're just yeah. a fan of the team, I respect that. I'm more of a fan of the NBA, but I reside with uh, Boston because, like, when I was younger. I'd always get sick around basketball season, so I never really paid attention to it. Yeah. So then I one day I picked Paul Pierce, but then I was like, well, Paul Pierce went to everywhere. And then he went to the Nets. Fuck the Nets. Uh. But, like, but then I was like, I can't really follow you. I'll just stick with the, I'll just stick with the Celtics. And that's yeah. what I did. We finally got a win last night. Thank God. Ronald had to be hurt, but you know. Every time you bring up the Celtics, it reminds me of Oscar Pitts. Uh, <laughs> Shout out to Oscar Pitts, <laughs> man. So I, hey, I know he'll be showing love. Yeah. <laughs> I, I forgot that he liked the Celtics, but uh, so you, you got what Cavs and Golden State in the finals? Yeah, Ooh, probably. Yeah, yeah, I like yeah so. honestly, yeah, that's what it's looking like. To me, like, man, LeBron, man. I just think the seven games is kind of fucks the NBA up. With the NFL, it's one. I, I granted, I don't want the NBA to be one game, but right. I just feel like with like with the NFL. I didn't really see Atlanta really coming out like that. Like, yeah. Yeah, granted, I think they went there the second seed. Yeah. But, like, there's a chance because you have to win every game. Yeah. But, like, with the NBA, you kind of, like, there's you no shot where, Yeah, like, they can mess up for three games and come back and win the series. So, yeah. like, it would be shocking not to see uh, Golden State and Cleveland in the finals. Yeah. yeah. True. Because if the shit was 2K, you know what I'm saying, you change it to 5 or 3, and then the shit be different because they're yeah. old and shit. Like, Celtics would be out right now if it was a three game series because that's mm-hmm. different, but yeah. it's not. I, I just feel like I want to at least, they got to change the format somehow so you at least get some upsets or something like that. Yeah, like, definitely. Kind of know what it's going to be because I think really it's probably going to be going to see in Cleveland for the next two years unless they blow up their teams or something. Yeah. Speaking of basketball, shouts out to uh, Reek and them at North. Mm-hmm. Yeah, shout out to Reed. Yeah, yeah North did cool. work, boys. Yeah. They, they did their thing. Speaking of North, I just saw Coach Ryan at my job, the comedy club, so shout out to him. Definitely. Yeah, was, yeah shout out to Coach Ryan, too, yeah. yeah he's doing well in life, so shout out to him. He's always been a nice guy. Yeah, but, um, yeah, it's just dope. It's cool. I fuck with this podcast. Yeah, I mean, that's, yeah. that's all we want is people to just come through and share and talk. Talk some shit. But uh, being two for the fashion show, for real. 
Those are fashion shows and what? Yeah, okay. it'll be at the social club. What is that? Uh, it's gonna be either late June or early July. Yeah. Coming up real quick. Try to start off the summer or something nice. I feel that, I feel that. You guys got anything uh, you guys wanna promote? Shout out, anything? Shit. Man, just so check us out. Yeah, what's the links? What's the links? Oh, yeah. Where can they? All right, where can they follow you guys at? Let me get the yeah, links. Get my Towards the end yeah. of the podcast, so if you guys yeah. want to get out your closing statements. All right, here we go. Uh, you can follow me on Snapchat. Oh, uh, on Snapchat. Yeah, yeah. Trey Two underscore Fly. That's Trey Two T O underscore Fly. But uh, follow me on Twitter, Real Life Goon. Instagram, Real underscore Life underscore Goon. Facebook, just known as a Real Life Goon. I mean, a Real Life page. Uh, I do like how your like, your branding is everything. Uh, yeah. like, it's kind of hard when some people got this that change, this change, or that yeah. change, and this change. I've been trying to figure out how to change my Snapchat app name, but Snapchat I don't right think you now. can do that. I don't know if you can. Uh, I think I you can change the name like where they see you at, but I don't think yeah, you can change Yeah, I don't think you can change name. your ad name. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, we got a, a website coming up soon. Uh, Instagram's <laughs> going to come up. Um, and that'll all be uh, Real Life Incorporated, so you tag that under there, too. Uh, we'll have a Twitter page, Facebook page coming up soon, probably in the next week, honestly. But uh, other than that, yeah. What about you, Switch? Yeah, man, just follow me on Snapchat, man. It's Nico G. <laughs> That's all he cares about. That's all I need. N E I C O G. Nico G. That's it. Tyler, what's your closest Switch, statement? Switch, though. Oh, my bad. <laughs> now you can. <coughs> Anything you want to promote or get off? Oh, let me say one more thing. Uh, also, just rock with the movement of real life, man. Uh, we just trying to put everybody else on a better platform. We just trying to do this for everybody else. Just trying to show love, man. Yeah. Put the city on. Yeah, we just trying to put the city on, man. Bring everybody Everybody's together. rocking with us. We rocking with everybody else for real. There we go. Uh, together, iTunes man. and SoundCloud, or not iTunes and uh, like how the podcast is on iTunes and then get on Spotify. Spotify, we coming for your ass. Oh uh, yeah. You you kind of kind of fugazi on podcasts. <laughs> But we coming for you. We will yeah, be we get on, on Spotify. Stuff. We'll be on there. Uh, it's going to be on that. iTunes, too. I'm going to put the link there. I'm going to promote this shit, man. Show some love, man. Yeah, for support. Real. Support your artists. Yeah, and we're just trying to... Producers. We're just trying to make a better living. That's all. That's all. All right. Put everybody on. All right, what you guys... What's your closing statement, Tyler? Well, I mean, it's been... It's been a good first podcast back. God yeah. damn it. Shit. Season two. Season, Season two. two. Yeah. But, um... Yeah. Follow me on Tyler Gross underscore four, Tyler the Libra, either one, on Twitter and on Instagram, TTL underscore O2. And, you know, I'm always trying to be on the come up, me and Brian on this podcast, but, you know, we also do have our own hobbies and stuff like that. Like, for me, I do uh, photography, so if you're ever looking for a photographer or something along the lines of just taking pictures or whatever, Come hit me up in my DMs or on Instagram. There's a couple samples of them. They're old, but there's a couple samples. Oh, that's it. Pass it back. Right. Oh, yeah. My but, bad. Uh, Pass it back to me. No, all my links will probably be in the description box below. Or you, it's on the side of SoundCloud, so if you really want to follow me or something like that. But then, yeah, I'm trying to make moves. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying, like, we got real life on the podcast. Yeah, yeah. We're going to have Kenneth next week. We're going to have... <coughs> how to get Wave and Sean and all that when they so oh, yeah. <laughs> Supreme Team shout out to Supreme Team shout out to Supreme Team <coughs> they, some, they some wild niggas but they uh, they coming up man yeah, we, we trying to get everybody on the podcast yeah. and just grow shouts out to to Jug, Jug Team shouts out to to H shout out to the Wave shout out to the Supreme Team shout yeah. out to Jay Foster man Jizz yeah. Shotty yeah. Jizz yeah. TC Kid oh. we should just call this a shout out episode <laughs> hey shout out hey, to hey, anybody hey. doing this music shit on a real tip for real yeah, my. if you ain't taking DMI. it serious no shout outs to you <laughs> for real shout outs D Harden too I see you trying to come up man yeah, everybody only come up here in DM we trying to get noticed yeah True. and uh any way we can. Shout out to all the other podcasts out there, but we coming yeah. for that number one spot, DMI. Oh. Just letting you know, oh. straight up. Uh, yeah, that was a great first episode back. Next week, the K 
Canada's episode will be up Canada, soon. Yeah, we're up somewhere. So we're trying to get more consistent. We haven't decided on what day. I think this podcast will go up this day because it's Saturday and then week, and we can just put it out there like that. But we're going to try to get consistent. So leave us feedback in the comments and all that stuff. But we'll see you later. We tired. Bye.